Hello, I'm Falula. You're watching Music Channel One Like You. Well, I've been dancing since I was very young, since I was like two and a half years old. But what most people don't know is that I wrote songs as well when I was starting around like 10, 11, doing songs. All the time I was dancing, I was also doing music, but it was very private. And so not many people knew about that. And I was very shy about singing as well. So it took me a couple of years to get the courage to kind of go out and say, here's my music. I um, applied for a dance school called Broadway Dance Center. And I got this um, visa program thing where people from all over the world came and danced. Um, hello. <laughs> and so I went there to do the dancing for six months. You know, everyone go there to become something, and so there's a lot of really talented people and a lot of wannabes. And it's this amazing mix of people, and you realize you have to live your dreams, you know. And you just hope you're not a wannabe and that you actually have talent, but you don't know until you have success. I don't really know if the Eurovision had a big effect because I'm, I guess I'm more in the alternative music scene and I'm not so commercial as like the Eurovision. So I don't know if it affects, affects someone like me personally. But I think definitely Denmark as a country got some attention because Denmark won. I held my breath waiting for a fat chance The day you come around In Denmark it's the same, like the, the alternative music is becoming more main, mainstream. But there still is a big difference between the very mainstream music and the alternative music, I think. Um, and we're very influenced by other countries as well, especially America, England. The big pub artists there get a lot of airplay in Denmark as well. Um, but I, I think there's room for everything, really. I think you can definitely hear the mainstream music scene are taking elements from indie culture. Ha! 